The 80 by 20 rule prompts us to identify the 20% of experiences that contribute to 80% of our joy. Patterns identified in your positive column become your to do more of list. Happiness is a pursuit that has intrigued humanity for centuries. We all want more joy in our lives, but sometimes it can be challenging to pinpoint the sources of our happiness and the areas that bring us negativity. This is where the 80-20 rule, a concept often applied to productivity and success, comes into play. In this video, we'll explore how the 80-20 rule can be utilized to enhance happiness through intentional reflection on our daily experiences. The 80 by 20 principle. Before delving into the specifics of how this principle can be applied to happiness, Let's briefly review what the 80 by 20 rule entails. Also known as the Pareto Principle, it suggests that 80% of the effects or outcomes stem from 20% of the causes or inputs. Typically used in business and economics, this principle has proven to be a powerful tool for understanding and optimizing various aspects of life. Applying the 80 by 20 rule to happiness Identifying what brings joy. In the context of happiness, the 80 by 20 rule prompts us to identify the 20% of experiences that contribute to 80% of our joy. These are the moments that make us genuinely happy, fulfilled, and content. To begin this process, gather records of the past six months to a year of your life. This can include calendars, journals, planners, social media feeds, or any documentation of your daily activities. Create two columns, one for positive experiences and another for negative experiences. As you review your records, categorize each experience accordingly. Recognizing patterns. As you categorize your experiences, patterns will start to emerge. These patterns can be eye-opening and reveal the recurring elements that significantly impact your happiness. For instance, you may discover that spending time in nature consistently brings you immense joy, while excessive screen time leads to negativity. Turning patterns into action. The patterns identified in your positive column become your to-do more of list. These are the activities and experiences that should occupy more of your time. Conversely, the patterns in your negative column represent things to avoid or reduce in your life. Take inspiration from author Tim Ferriss, who emphasizes that it's not enough to remove the negative. You must also actively schedule and pursue the positive. It's crucial to understand that achieving a happier and more fulfilling life doesn't solely depend on eliminating negative aspects. While minimizing negativity is essential, actively scheduling and pursuing positive experiences can be the real game changer. Think of it this way. Imagine your life as a canvas and your daily activities as the strokes of a brush. If you merely erase the undesirable strokes, you're left with a blank canvas, which may not be fulfilling or joyful. To create a masterpiece, you must not only erase the unwanted parts, but also add vibrant and meaningful strokes that bring your canvas to life. Focusing on everyday habits. Extend this analysis to your daily habits, behaviors, activities, and commitments. Similar to the previous step, Categorize these elements as positive, negative, or neutral. Patterns here might reveal that small daily habits like tidying up, staying hydrated, or engaging in physical activities contribute positively to your well-being. Planning your weeks with joy. You might notice that many items in your positive column relate to connecting with others. This insight can guide your weekly planning to prioritize social interactions. Conversely, if you find screen time consistently brings negativity, strategize ways to limit it in your weekly routine. Incorporating the 80 by 20 rule into your quest for happiness can be a transformative exercise. 
It encourages intentional reflection on your experiences and the patterns that shape your life. By focusing on the 20% of activities that bring you the most joy and actively working to include them in your life, you can boost your overall happiness and fulfillment. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want more tips on boosting joy and living a happier life, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more insightful content.